What's up everybody? It's a pretty warm early November day, November 5th. It's a little windy, it gusts in pretty heavy sometimes, but other than that, all good. Everything's looking great. I, uh, I've had all my indoor, you know, and tropical trees outside for a while. We haven't gotten any frost overnight uh, in at least a week. There was only a couple days, really. But, yeah. It's real nice being able to keep everything outside as long as possible. Anyways, today I want to take advantage of the nice weather on my weekend. These are all the... I should give updates on these. These are all the little microcarpa cuttings that I pruned a little while ago. I lost one of them, uh, the one that I pruned all the way back to the bottom. You know, there was no leaves left on it. Just pruned it down to buds and it died off. So that's okay. This is my root over blade core. Looking real nice. Got a bunch of buds that are coming out everywhere now. I've got some moss around the blade core here where it comes out on the surface so I can try and encourage some roots to grow over it. I'm gonna put some more on top of it here and some soil maybe too but anyways keep getting sidetracked. What I'm gonna do today finally I've been meaning to do this forever is my kumquat plant here it's grown like crazy this year. It was just a tiny little seedling when I first got it. And uh, yeah, it's done really well this year. So, got it on the table now. And I'll get it repotted and pruned up. Here goes. Alright, well, here goes. This isn't going to be a particularly long or interesting video really fairly straightforward well it might be kind of interesting considering i'll be using this big stone flake root beard shirt flake and a antler pressure flaker there was a the neighborhood dog out today barking at all the cars so maybe i'll end up editing some of that out but here it goes so yeah, the first thing I want to do is uh, make the prune, the pruning cut here. And I think I'm going to do it, so this thing hasn't been pruned at all. It just grew as a seedling in this little container that my landlord gave me back in June or something. It was just a tiny little thing. It's grown pretty well since then, so I'm going to prune it down try and propagate the cuttings, maybe get two of them, um, and then just keep this one really short for now. It doesn't need too many of these leaves. I've been kind of debating where to cut it, but I think I'll just, I'll give it, you know, I'll let it have these two strong leaves, and then I'll cut it right here, so I'm going to do that. I'm just going to have to do it on the the wood here, make sure it's on camera. Yep. So, what did I say? Those two? Yeah. Cut it right here. Let's see if this works. Too bad. Yeah. Kind of crushed it a little bit, but that's fine. That out. The top bud doesn't survive, that's fine. There's a lot of, you know, tight internodes down here. Keep all the leaves on. I'm just gonna put it in a this small pot, so it's not gonna be anything too crazy big. Yeah, so this 
stuff on the top I put in there, hoping I might be able to encourage some surface roots to grow, but it dried out much too fast, you know, faster than the, the rest of it wanted, because this is very kind of organic dark soil down there, but it does have a lot of good root growth. So we'll see, see what I can get out of here. Maybe I shouldn't have let it dry out so much. There's a nice fresh new root right there. use my fingers. There's a lot of like plastic and random stuff in this. I think it came from their compost pile or something. Oh yeah. There's that wind. Comes in real strong sometimes. Breaks apart pretty good around the roots. And there is a lot of really good, good root growth in there. sort of like textile cloth in there or something weird. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why that was in there, but the, the roots kind of grew into that cloth. So I had to rip some of them out of there, but it's okay. There's a lot of really good, strong root growth in here. Awesome. I can prune some of that off. Definitely. I don't need to take the roots all the way back yet. I just want to kind of take it where it starts doing these weird corkscrew spirals there. A little bit higher than that. Somewhere here. Cleanest cut, but not the worst. Everything else more or less fits in there. You can just shorten these a tiny bit. Yep, that'll do. It's good. So yeah, I've just got this small pot here. I want to bury it 
kind of deeply, but not too deep. You know, it doesn't need to be all the way at the bottom. Something like that, maybe. Just organize those roots a little better. use the little antler poker here get all that soil worked in between all those fine roots that this has make sure it's standing up straight yeah okay I think that looks pretty good bad for its first pruning and repotting. Took some unnecessary roots off, got it in some really good bonsai soil. Yeah, this is just gonna take off now for sure. I'll get this watered in fully off camera and get these cuttings. Well, there will be two cuttings, I'll split this in half. Get them put in something. And that'll be that. All right. Yeah. Quick little video. It's actually been quite a while since I've filmed a proper video. Need to get back into the swing of things. There's a few things I need to do, you know, in the fall here to get ready for the winter. So yeah, hopefully a few more videos coming out soon. But until then, that's it for this one. As always, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.